All right, everyone, I know you guys already hate this video, but somebody had to do it, okay? Someone had to tell everybody about this. Now, I know you can see my knee right here, but my knee is here to keep you guys company, to make sure you guys don't get too heated for what I'm about to say, but I recently bought the Galaxy Note 9, probably, I would say, like a month ago, maybe like a month and a half ago, and honestly, as soon as I picked it up, I was like, this is a tremendous phone. It is awesome. It's literally all in one package. It has everything you ever needed in a phone in terms of an Android, and when I saw the Galaxy Note 10 release yesterday, I had my hopes up to, to for real, you know, I was like, okay, this is cool, okay, everything looks good, the whole bunch display, you know, everything we already kind of saw within the leaks, I mean, honestly, that thing was a leak to death, but eventually it was released, and it wasn't until I started kind of doing those quick little comparisons that I did yesterday that I saw, like, in a lot of ways, the Note 10 is a downgrade from a Note 9. Now, there's some key things I need to hit on, but the main thing, you know, it's a smaller thing, it's not that big of a deal for me, but the headphone jack, you're going, when you're moving, upgrading to a Note 10, you're losing that port, which is really weird, I don't know why they would do that because they kind of prided themselves into keeping it, but apparently they removed it. Um, so if you're, you know, you want to keep that headphone jack, obviously the Note 9 is there for you. The Note 10 does not have it, the Note 10 Plus does not have it either. Now the second thing that really bothered me, and I don't know what the heck they were thinking, is in 2019, the flagship almost $1,000 device has a 1080p display. Now, for a lot of people, you might not care. You might be like, oh my God, it doesn't matter. You said the same thing about the iPhone XR, you're freaking out. I'm telling you, if you're spending that type of money on a device, you want to have a phone that you know is going to stand the test of time. And not only does it have only a 1080p display, but the pixels per inch, the PPI screen density isn't even that high. It's only 401 pixels per inch. That's really not even that high compared to the Galaxy Note 9, which has a 1440p display and 516 pixels per inch. And on top of that, the even more expensive Note 10 Plus has a 1440p display, that's awesome, but it only has 498 pixels per inch, so the screen density is lower on even the higher end model. And for a lot of people, you're not gonna care, you can, I mean, I might say the same thing, I mean, like, you know what, you probably won't even notice the difference between the Note 10 Plus and the Note 9, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to tell the difference between the Note 9 and the Note 10, but even if you can't, like, you know, like, like in the back of your head that Samsung could have done better. We have 1440p displays on cheaper devices than the Note 10, and we've had 1440p displays since the Galaxy Note 4, the Note 4, which was released, I don't even remember, dude, that was forever, like 2013, 2014. When that phone was released, that had a 1440p display, and the Note 3 was the last Note that had a 1080p display. I don't know why they did, like, it makes absolutely no sense in my opinion. And it might have just been a money move, it might have been whatever, but the thing I don't understand is Samsung creates their own panels, and they do a really good job. They source a lot of panels over to Apple as well, and... I don't know really what they were thinking. Like I said, I think this panel is going to be fine, but you know in the back of your head they could have done better. And that's one thing that really, really irked me when I saw that. I'm like, well, seriously, like what the, what were they thinking? Like it made absolutely no sense to me at all. Now, obviously in terms of performance, it's going to be probably better on the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. I'm already expecting that. The Note 9, still a tremendous device. I really like this phone a lot. I don't see anything wrong with it. If you have a Note 9, keep it. It's in a lot of ways, like I said, better than the Note 10, even the Note 10 Plus. And and probably the one thing that I am so confused about, and I honestly don't know what they were thinking. Like, literally the screen thing was a whole other story. But when I saw this, I was like, what in the world? And I feel like it's such a bad negative thing for Samsung, especially. They removed the micro SD card slot on the Galaxy Note 10, the smaller variant, the 6.3 inch variant. But with the Note 10 Plus, it still has it. But why would they do that? Like, <laughs> it's like they're taking away everything that the Note line stood for. They're watering down the most expensive phones that they offer, almost. The Note 10 and the S10, I mean, obviously they're, they're probably the biggest competitor right now between each other. The S10 is a far better device than the regular variant smaller Galaxy Note 10. And it makes absolutely no sense why Samsung would do that because they also like create their own Samsung SD cards. You know, they make a lot of money from those. So it's like they're losing money by being strict and kind of narrowing themselves down into, you know, a being an, a phone manufacturer that doesn't add an SD card slot. And the other thing is, is that there's only one variant of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, which is the 256 gig variant. So you can't expand the storage. You can't get anything on top of that. You can only get the 256. And like, you can even say the same thing, like iPhones do the same thing, whatever, but they never had SD card slots. The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 does have one, and this kind of reminds me of the Galaxy S6. Remember when they released that phone and it was like the sealed in battery, and on top of that, no micro SD card slot? I feel like Samsung is going to add that back in. With the Note 10 Plus, they kept it though, and they really only did that so people would have a reason to go and upgrade to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. 
And probably the other thing that really made me upset is the battery size within the smaller Note 10. Now size wise, it's not going to be that much smaller than this phone, but the Note 9 has a 4,000 mAh battery. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 has a 3,500 mAh battery. And dude, you're going, like this is the one thing that always irks me. You're going backwards. Like you upgrade in all these other senses, the screen, not even, not even the screen in this sense, but you upgrade, you know, the way it feels, the way it looks, the speed and all this stuff. But for the battery life and the battery size, like those things are always so like subjective. It's just like, go and keep that going, keep increasing it. It's like, don't go backwards. Why are you downgrading a phone piece? You know, it makes no sense. Like I've never known why no people don't bring that up as much as they do. That needs to be a bigger deal. You can't just go and expect software to just be better. Like, yes, it's going to be better, but I want a bigger battery too. You know, I don't just want one or the other. I want a bigger battery and better software. So. You know, give me both. If I'm spending like almost a thousand dollars on a phone, man, like we should expect better. And honestly, I'll just tell you this, like don't buy the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, in my opinion. I don't think it's worth it at all. I think you should pick up a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I think this is a much better device. You can probably pick one of these up for like $300 and save yourself the 700 and just go spend that on like corn dogs and like carnival rides or something. You're so much better off doing it that way than going and buying a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 in my opinion. They really dropped the ball. Like I, I was so excited for it. And then as I was doing those quick comparisons, I was like, man, that, like this is such a bad vibe for me. You know, I was kind of had my hopes up, but obviously I'm still going to buy it. I'm gonna have to review and everything, but for you guys who are the consumers, don't buy it, it's not worth it, but that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I would really appreciate if you guys could check it out, but more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.